So in this video, we are talking about the drugs used in migraine headaches. What is migraine? Now migraine, it is a severe throbbing pain or a pulsing sensation usually on one side of the head, often accompanied by nausea, vomiting and extreme sensitivity to light and sound. Now what causes migraine? Now there are many theories to explain this fact, but mm, they are just still theories. The older one suggests that symptoms were due to changes in blood flow to the brain. And another aspect of uh, migraine pain theory explains that migraine pain happens due to waves of activity by neurons that releases serotonin, which causes abnormal dilatation and pulsation of cerebral blood vessels. Now in case of migraine headaches, what will be our approach to treatment of the patient? Of course, we'll try to vasoconstrict the cerebral blood vessels. Now there are many groups of drugs used in migraine headaches. We can use them in two instances. For example, there are drugs which are used in the acute attack and then there are drugs which are used for migraine prophylaxis. For acute attack, there are four classes of drugs used and so and same is the case for migraine prophylaxis. Four types of drugs are used here too. Now first types of drugs are NSAIDs. They are used in mild and moderate migraine but we do not give them long term because of the side effects such as hypoprothrombinemia which uh, is by the way by interfering with the action of vitamin K in liver and sodium and water retention due to prostaglandin inhibition. Examples are aspirin, mephenamic acid, ibuprofen, naproxen, etc. Now second choice is antiemetics use. It is used to treat the nausea and vomiting associated with the migraine attack. They can be given IV or orally. They are mainly 5-HT4 antagonists and H1 blockers. We know that 5-HT4 is present in the GIT, serotonin receptor. By blocking this, we block vomiting and H1 blocker is present in chemotrigger zone and vestibular apparatus, which also decreases vomiting by blocking them. Thirdly, we can use certain drugs known as ergot derivatives or ergot preparations. They are mainly used at the onset of pain in moderate to severe migraine. They can be given orally, sublingually or as suppository. The ergot, ergot preparations are mainly partial agonists at 5-HT1B, 1D. In fact, uh, they are the partial agonists at all the 5-HT1 receptors. But as 5-HT1 are autoreceptors, they decrease serotonin release and also constrict cerebral blood vessels, decrease inflammation and decrease extravasation of fluid. These were the main actions of ergot ergotamine, but there is another drug in this class which is dihydroergotamine which is safer for parenteral use because its alpha blocking effect is more than its smooth muscle contraction effect. So it does not cause the side effects which are associated with ergotamine that are GI distress, diarrhea, gangrene and abortion. It is mainly given with caffeine due to its beneficial effects such as absorption is increased and also the vasoconstrictive effect of caffeine. Lastly, the drugs used for acute management of migraine are triptans. They are selective agonists at 5-HT1B and HT1D receptors. For example, sumatriptan, almotriptan and zolmitriptan. They are used in moderate and severe 
migraine. They help in migraine by three mechanisms. Because cerebral ischemia, some theories suggest that cerebral ischemia caused the attack. So they constrict the dilated blood vessels and restore the blood flow. They also decrease serotonin release because they are agonist of the autoreceptor. Also decrease extravasation of plasma proteins into the perivascular space. Now the drugs used for migraine prophylaxis include beta blockers such as propanolol. They are used chronically. Their mechanism is unknown but maybe their mechanism is due to the beta 2 blockade without which beta 2 causes vasodilation. TCA's tricyclic antidepressants like amitriptyline are also used but they used should not be prolonged. Calcium channel blockers such as verapamil and flunarazine is also used. Flunarazine is preferred because it is selective for cerebral calcium channels. They should not be given with beta blockers. Maybe they help with the pulsation of the cerebral blood vessels. Anticonvulsants such as gabapentin and sodium valproate are also used for migraine prophylaxis. They stabilize the neuronal membrane by sodium channel blockade so there is no repetitive action potential and there is decreased serotonin release. That's it for the drugs used in migraine headaches. Thanks for watching.